Hi all, it's Greg here at Worldwide Sale and Marketing. One of the things we get asked to do a lot of is a full health check and audit of a business's online presence, if you like, um, starting with their website, um, Google business listing, uh, looking at how they rank on uh, the search engines, uh, looking at the problems that might be causing their ranking not to be very good on search engines, um, technical issues with the website. So I'll just take you through um, a couple of those uh, things and, and the process of, of how we actually do this. So first of all, it, it starts with um, a website. So let's say we've been, uh, well, we have been, we've been asked to do a, a health check, a, a complete audit on this website, it happens to be a, a hair salon in, in uh, Florida, in the USA. So first of all, we get the uh, we get the website and we put it through our uh, technical processes, and that spits out a report. Uh, it takes a little while, but it spits out a report. And in this case, this is the report on the technical aspects of the website itself, and it's found thirteen major issues, and and they range from actually major issues to minor issues. But I uh, give you an idea. Um, uh, this site doesn't have any Google Analytics uh, uh, code in it, doesn't have uh, Facebook tracking uh, pixel in it, doesn't have a Google tracking uh, pixel in it. Um, worst of all though, it uh, doesn't have what's called a, a, um, a secure socket layer certificate, SSL certificate. Now the, the point about that is that if it doesn't have that certificate, it means that when people go to the website, you'll see at the top here, it says not secure. Now that is a red flag uh, for uh, Google because Google will sometimes throw up a message when people try to go to this website that this website's not secure, warning, warning, Will Robinson, um, and that will put a lot of people off. But also it has a really, really negative effect on your ability to be found in the search engines. So once we've done that uh, audit process and we've put it through our um, technical analysis, what we then do is go and have a look at um, the ranking and where the site is is um, is found in Google searches. Now, what we do is the best way to do this is to go to use Google Chrome and go right up the top here where you see the three dots. Open that up and go to a new incognito window. Now, what that does is it hides from Google where you are and who you are. So it gives you a, the cleanest search you're going to get. Um, the reason for using incognito is that um, Google will, if you don't use incognito, Google will give you results that it thinks you want to see based on what you've previously searched for. Um, so you may have already searched for your own website and Google will throw that up. You don't want that. You want a, a search that uh, shows results from somebody brand new who just happens to be looking for whatever you sell in your local area. So we go to incognito and we start to do a search. Now this salon happens to be in Melbourne, Florida. So we've done a search for hair salon, Melbourne, Florida, and we certainly can't find the business that we've asked to do the audit on. Look down on the, this first page here and there's no sign of it whatsoever. So that's not a good sign at all. In more places, um, is it there? It's called Hair Salon, Hair Colour Experts. Um, can't find it there. So that's not a good sign either. So for a start, um, being not secure is one of the red flags that Google says, right, we're not gonna put this website up on the front page uh, until it's secure and there's a whole bunch of other things that need fixing up on it. Then what we do is we start doing a check on where else on the internet this business is mentioned. So to do that, a uh, fairly straightforward process, we, we, we're in incognito, and we just type the name of the business into the search bar. Now, obviously, that will bring up the business at the top of search because we've searched for the very name of the business. Unfortunately, in this case, in Florida alone, there are three other or two other businesses called hair colour experts with slight variations in the way they've laid out the name. So that's not a great choice of name, um, but let's move on with that, put that aside for a moment. Then we go and see where else this business is mentioned, on what other websites it's mentioned. So for example, 
uh, this business is uh, mentioned on uh, Yelp. So we go and have a look at Yelp and make sure that the business name, address and phone number is set out exactly the same on Yelp and other websites as it is uh, in uh, the website itself and in their Google business listing. So in this case, it doesn't, it doesn't look like they've even set up uh, their uh, business on Yelp uh, and in the United States, Yelp is a very, very big directory site. Um, where else can we look here? Uh, where else is it mentioned? Um, in Facebook, obviously, uh, you want to make sure that um, it's exactly the same. Um, so on this website, we check that the address here, 2447 North Wickham Road, Suite 122, Melbourne, Florida, 32935, is set out exactly the same uh, elsewhere that we find it. So what we want to make sure is that it's set out exactly the same in the Google business listing. And that's really important because Google gets confused if they're not set out exactly the same. That looks pretty good. But what isn't pretty good is this uh, Google business listing doesn't even have a link to the website from it. And it looks like it hasn't even been claimed. That's what this says. Oh, do you own this business? Then it means it needs to be claimed. So that again is holding the website down in the search rankings. Now here's the business listed on the Better Business Bureau, but the name of the business is different. The address is the same, but the website that this directory is sending people to is a completely different web address to the current live web uh, website that uh, we saw earlier. And that is another confusing issue for Google. But they're just a few of the, what seem like very, very minor things. Does anyone really care? Yes, they are really, really important to get those tedious little things right, because a combination of those things that aren't right is quite possibly keeping you out of the public eye, keeping your business off the front page of Google and stopping your phone from ringing. If you need an audit of your own online presence, just fill in the form or uh, click on the link uh, near this video and we'll get that done for you in a couple of days and send you a full report. Hope that's been useful. Uh, see you next time.